Hello and welcome to another painting tutorial from JMP Miniatures. So this is the final in the Batman ones. This is Joker and he's the last one of the painting tutorials that I'm going to do of Joker's crew. I've started off with a white primer here and I'm going ahead and base coating his shirt with Avalon Sunset from Citadel. Okay, so the next base coat is Dunet Hide from Citadel. This is going on Joga's suit, so his coat and tails, his pants. I'm just avoiding the shirt areas and the shoes in his skin with this colour. So once this is done, we're going to move on to the next colour, which is for his hair. And I use here Wag Flesh from Citadel. This is quite a nice dark green. Uh, I've put a thin layer on so you can still see some of the white. Uh, brighten this up. Once that's complete, I'm just going to base coat the shoes with Vallejo Black. As you can see, I'm leaving the tongue area white because it's got those type of shoes where they've got a white tongue on. And I use white on the skin and hands, and then I go ahead and touch up the shoes with this white as well. Just hit some metal areas with Lead Belcher from Citadel. Uh, there's a chain on Jogar's waist as well as the knife knife in his hand and then I give it all a wash uh, of Nuln Oil from Citadel and I believe this is over the entire model over everything we've painted so far Okay, so the next thing we're going to look at, now it's shaded and all dry, is layering. And I'm starting off with the same colour as before. I'm using Demon at Hide from Citadel. And I'm using this all over the suit areas that we've already painted purple. I'm just layering over some of the higher areas and leaving that previous colour in the recesses. And then I'm repeating the same process with Avalanche Sunset. Again, the same colour as what we used before, but this time I'm doing it over the shirt areas and the cuffs. And I also include the bow tie, I believe, with this layer paint. And then repeating the same thing on the hair, hitting those highest areas with Warboss Green from Citadel. And again highlighting those strands of hair with Scarsnick Green, again from Citadel. I also use this colour on the flower and bow tie I think of Joga's suit. And then I'm going ahead and highlighting the shirt with Uriel Yellow from Citadel. So the next main feature of Joga Complete is his skin. So here I'm using Foundation White from Vallejo and the reason I'm using the foundation paint rather than uh, the straight dead white from Vallejo is because it's got a lot more pigment in so I'm going to get better coverage. Uh, it may still need two coats but I'm just trying to apply this to the highest areas again, layering it over his skin. Um, just to keep that contrast in the eye sockets in between underneath the nose. I also do this on his hands and then highlight the metal areas with Rune Fang Steel. So I'm just picking out uh, bits that I want to be shinier than the rest. And lastly, I want to highlight his suit and pants. So I'm using a mix of Demonet Hide and Squid Pink. And I've mixed those one to one, so it's equal measures. And I'm just highlighting areas that I want to stand out on the suit and pants. So now the model's finished, I'm going to move on to the base. I'm starting off with German Grey as a base coat. I dry brush it with Cold Grey, and that's from Vallejo. And I'm adding some little details here with Army Paint Art Wilderness Tufts. Just using PVA glue to add those on.
and then finally finishing the base off with black from Vallejo this is just getting painted around the rim and then finally I'm going to move on and matte varnish the whole model I'm doing this with an airbrush it's just to protect the paint job so that's the end of this video and the end of the Joga video series so I hope you've enjoyed it I hope it's been helpful and I'd just like to thank you for watching